carry the don has been in the public eye due to his extravagant lifestyle and high-profile business involvements that have led to questions surrounding the legitimacy of his wealth. He made his first million at 17, just imagine, and just recently, he claimed he pays 2.8 million per term for school fees for his four kids, he even plans to have more kids, so the amount might increase. He has so much money that he does not take his music career seriously, and he makes music just for fun. You might question his music abilities, but he has more money than you, so he doesn't really care. Despite being filthy rich, he is funny and charismatic, always making trends with his funny remarks on daily occurrences and when he attacks his haters like Andrew Kibe and Steve Simple Boy. Wewe mimi nikikulinganisha wewe ni ile kazi naweza nikakupa wewe Simple Boy. Labda nikupeleke kwa shamba yangu huko, nikuvalishe kanga ukue kama scarecrow. Kwa sababu sura yako inatisha sana. Usijaribu kabisa Simple Boy. Some people claim he indulges in money laundering business or what is called here in Kenya as wash wash. While others claim that he sold someone's soul for $6 million, but KRG has a different answer. And today we'll get the answers where KRG the Don gets his money and how he became the Don we know today. Remember to like this video, share, and most importantly, subscribe. He has been a mechanic, driver, DJ, he sold Mutumba, and even sold movies. His real name is Karuga Kimani, and his name KRG comes from the Karuga. His past life was different. He spent most of his life in the highlands of Kisi, and this is why he speaks fluently in the Kisi language. You may wonder why he's light-skinned and looks like an Arab, yet he grew up in Kisi. I'm not saying Kisis are not light-skinned. Anyway, his mother is an Indian, while the father is a Kikuyu. His father was a businessman and he traded in several parts of Kenya like Narok, Nairobi and Kisi. He was born in Naivasha and attended his nursery school and also his early primary school years there. The family later moved to Kisi and he continued with his primary education and they were there for 17 years. And the family became even bigger, making more money and more babies. He has four siblings and being the firstborn, he had to set a good example. And knowing this, he had to work really hard. Just like today, KRG was a noisemaker and notorious, but he was a bright student, emerging among the top three students in his class. After completing primary education, he proceeded to Kampala, Uganda, to pursue his secondary education. A decision that was made by his father as he believed that sending him away will make him concentrate on his studies because of his naughty behavior. Seko sami ni sio uji. Budangu aliona ai wiki janangu hapa mm. nyumbani juu hapa mvuruga kila mahali. Mm. Wacha ni mtume uko unajua? Ni ile unasikaga zile ukitaka mtoto wako sio mtume wa shago. Yeah, yeah. Unajua ga hiyo? Mm. Sasa mimi huwezi mtume wa shago juu wa shago uko nita control sana. Kasema sasa huyu ndo mtume city mm. but si Nairobi. Wacha ni mtupe city nyingine sasa. Yeah. Lakini ya mbali pale ya hajui mtu ata concentrate tu na masomo. Yeah. But this did not really help. Kerry yeah. studied in three schools as he was expelled severely. The entrepreneurial spirit began while at school and he started doing business there, where he lent money to his fellow students for instance, we lend you 50,000 shillings and we'll give back 100,000. Looks like extortion, but that's why he did the business. Mm -hmm. Mm. He was also buying clothes from Kampala as they were cheap and selling them in Kenya for a profit. Aside from selling clothes, he used to drive trailer trucks that were owned by his uncles and at the end of the day he was making money and he was only 17 years old. After completing Form 6, he proceeded to Kampala International University but he felt that studying was a waste of time and was not what he wanted. So he asked his father to give him the money to start his business instead of paying for school fees, despite the fact that his father was practicing large-scale farming. Karji didn't follow the path. He felt that he had a different life path. He opened a club in Uganda, together with the help of his cousins, then proceeded to open another club in Kisi called Club Carnivorous. While at Club Carnivorous, he used to work as a DJ, salesman, and also the accountant. He was a jack of all trades. He later opened another club in Kilgoris called The Wallet. After doing the business for some time, he wanted a better place to invest and expand his business, so he opted for Nairobi. His first stop was at Umoja Inako, then he moved to Donholm, 
where he opened a pool table, a gambling business venture, and he claimed he used to make 30,000 Kenyan shillings per day. After doing the business for some time, he sold the business and invested the money somewhere else. His cousin connected him to the government, and this was his door to making ridiculous amounts of money. His job was to allocate tenders, and on a good day, he could make up to 10 million Kenyan shillings. job. His biggest breakthrough came in 2014 when the Standard Gauge Railway or the SGR project kicked off as he was among the contractors at that time. He disclosed that he landed a tender to supply sand and ballast meant for the construction of the multi-billion project. After making money from the tenders, he opened a taxi business that specialized in hotel transfers where he used to earn 3,000 Kenyan shillings per trip to transfer people from the airport to hotels. When Uber entered the Kenyan market, he closed his business because it no longer made sense. Despite making a lot of money from the SGR project, it is not the main source of his wealth. He has said that he got his wealth from inheritance, as he inherited property left behind by his grandmother, who passed away a month before he was born. The money, how would you say? What would you say? Uh, from investment, of course, and uh, some is inheritance, you know, uh, which is not uh, a crime to inherit something. What you want It was crazy money, you know, crazy, and it, more of, uh, of it, it was an asset, you know. Uh, yeah, so yeah. now we can build on it, so we can build on it. Kyarijas made it clear that he's really a billionaire. He spends like 3 to 4 million Kenyan shillings in just one month. And this is just personal expenditure, not business related. So in a day, he can use like 100,000 Kenyan shillings to fuel his cars and buy lunch for his kids and friends. If you think that is a lot of money, it is not. He pays 2.8 million Kenyan shillings per term for school fees for his kids. Per term, because uh, one year has a couple, like three, three terms. terms. Yeah. Like 2.8 million per term. term. Yes. He's not sure about his marital status. He has three baby mamas and four kids. He got married to his second wife at only 23 years old, but he claims that the marriage was rushed and he was not ready to get married. They faced difficulties in their marriage, and this led to a nasty breakup in 2021. Kariji claimed his wife loved moving around with useless people who he called Chokora, who added no value to her life. She was influenced by her friends to make bad decisions and this led to the end of their marriage. Sana ule mama nilikuwa nimezana na watu wawili. Yeye anapenda kutembea na machokora juu hakuna mtu yote wanyatembea na yeye amemzidi kitu lakini yeye juu anawasikiliza sana hapo ndio mimi nikapinda alafu sasa vile vitu amekuwa akifanya baada ya our separation siwezi ongelelea hapa. He started music at the age of 16 and the interest has not dimmed since. His debut dancehall song Wine and Drop was received well. He then proceeded to release seven dancehall and hip hop tracks. His love for music made him start his own studio called Fast Cash Music Group, which offers audio and visual recording. Despite being in the music industry for quite some time, some news articles claim Kerji is not talented, but has managed to make some bigger seed songs in Kenya. His song Madogodhanyo, featuring Boondocks and DJ Laita, became a hit carrying close to 4 million views on YouTube. His Mambo Mechamuka slogan became so popular that he made a song called Mambo Mechamuka, which was released this year. And we pray that KRG will live Miyaka Miyasita Msini and inspire this generation and the next generations.